y'all, it's Andrea. I'm back with another unboxing for Globin. This is an artisanal subscription. You get products handmade from across the globe. You get to, you can either be surprised every month or you can pick out a curated box. I always pick out a curated box and I always have a very tough time deciding because they're fabulous. But you have to get on there quick when they release the new ones because they go like that. Wasn't able to get the ones I really wanted for this month. I was sorely disappointed because I had forgotten about going in and picking my box until I think it was a couple of days later and oh, it was picked over. This month I actually set a timer on my phone so I could remember to jump on there and there was only one thing gone. Everything else was still available, so that's awesome. I don't even remember what I picked in this one. Okay, comfort box, that's what I picked. There's actually a booklet. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Globin. They finally started putting the product descriptions back in here. Thank you. They sent me one of these last month, these Globe and Impact Report thing. It's just all the information telling you about how Globe and has helped and the impact it's made in the world and supporting these small artisans. Very cool. Let's see what I picked. There's always a bunch of choices, like 10 or more. First thing I'm grabbing is this. It looks, I don't honestly remember everything that, I, that was in this box, so. It looks like a towel. Or a throw. This will have been handmade or hand loomed. Hand dyed, I mean. It's $50 a month, shipping tax and all. I will have a discount link or code of some sort or another. I think it's $30 off. It'll say in the title, it'll be linked down below. This is awesome. It looks, it's about the size of a towel. And it's got this fringe. Let's look it up. since they actually gave us a product guide again. Herringbone Woven Throw, 50 by 70, is it? Fifty by, is it? To me, it's the size of a large towel, not a throw. I like it, nevertheless. It's made of cotton hand wash on delicate setting. This was handmade in India. There's the lady that made it. In order to produce this fabric, the weavers must hand use hand-powered looms. It requires a lot of physical work. It actually tells about the lady in her life who made it. Very cool. I don't really remember picking this box. I honestly don't remember picking this box. Next I've got this tea. Cause I don't even drink tea. Organic. Rubos, small farmer, big change, herbal tea, caffeine free. Is it tea bags, I wonder? Let me look this up. Organic Ruabos tea. 20 tea bags. 
Okay, this is from Handmade in India and South Africa. It's more than just tea, it's a model in which tea farmers have a voice and are in control of their futures. It's fair, everything's fair trade in these boxes. I do have my new Teamy cup. I could actually try some of this tea. Next we have a hand painted candle. Let me take it out of the wrapper. Like I said, the boxes I really wanted were sold out. So this is definitely not my first choice. It's still cute stuff though. Now this is not a candle I would actually burn because it's just a clear wax candle. It's no good scent or anything like that. It's just decorative. I'm not really crazy about just decorative things. I like to use things, especially a candle that's just gonna get dusty. Let's see, let's read about it. What do they want me to do with that guy? Painted um, candle, blue green. It is paraffin wax, cotton wick, handmade in South Africa. I think I'll actually put it in my little Globin votive holder. Let me show you. This is one of the first things I got from Globin last year when I first started ordering. This hand-painted essential oil warmer. You put the candle in there. You burn the candle and you put the essential oil on top and it warms it. And I've never actually used it. <laughs> it's just up for a pretty. So I may just store that candle in there. That's probably what I'll do. All right, lastly, it is very well packaged. I've never, knock on wood, had anything broken in my Globin boxes. Next month, um, I chose a Dutch oven. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna unwrap both of these before I show you. We have a teacup and saucer. Here's the saucer. It's got gold trimming. Hand painted, hand made. And then the mug. Also has the gold trim. And the teacup. Let's read about this. It's ceramic, hand wash recommended. It is handmade in Morocco. Um, it show, actually shows the picture of the artist. They always do that, I like that. Tells about his life and his family. I'm so glad they put their booklets back in here. There's also a recipe in back for salted caramel popcorn bars with marshmallow and chocolate. Okay, for this comfort box, we got the throw that really is soft. This is really nice. 
We got the hand-painted candle. We got the teacup and saucer. And we got the tea. Not the most favorite box I've ever gotten. Honestly, I don't remember hicking it. What do you, what y'all think? I do love Globin overall though. I really do and I use all the stuff I get from them. Like I have a bunch of it in my kitchen. Usually I pick kitchen stuff. I have picked bath stuff before. Give me a thumbs up guys if you like the video and subscribe if you like to watch unboxings. Like I said down below in the description, I'll put the Globin sign up with my discount code and I'll put the links to the giveaways that are currently going on. I'll see you at the next one.